Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Kimbo here and it's time for an epic, epic unboxing. So we got this box here, a little covered in water because it was outside and it snowed and yeah, like, at least like, the sellers put awesome packaging in here, much appreciated for sure. The box has gotten a little wet, but it happens, man. Let me get, it. Yeah, get that out of there and yeah, oh god, <laughs> well that didn't work, cool. Lord, I almost knocked over my setup that got too intense. But anyways, we've got this, dude. It is the epic Bakugan Geogon Rising Pyrus Titan King, man. So, yeah. Titan King and Pyrus looking really, really sick. I mean, before this point, we've only seen Titan King really with Arliss. So, yeah. I think there's like a Pyrus one. I don't know if there's any other factions for it. Maybe they had others planned, but then they were just a part of the scrapped wave. Like, you know. Like, Ventus, Titan King, like, Darkest Titan King. It would have been cool to see it in, like, Darkest or Ventus. But at this point, kind of doubtful because, you know, just being December and such. We're definitely moving on to Evolution since Evolution starts being found now. Um, yeah. But I'm just hoping that the scrapped waves uh, that they got rid of, like, the Bakugan that they didn't end up putting out for this season. Not only this season, but all the other seasons they really released in Evolutions. It would be perfect. It would diversify the game for sure. Evolutions is like a melting pot because you've got some newer Bakugan coming in. Some other Bakugan being brought back is mythics like original ba battle brawlers bakugan but they're mythic versions with transparent plastic and then also better stats yeah man like it's the perfect time to get those bakugan out and also the cards man cards just so so important like for real i know i say it a lot but for real like they help balance the game that much more dude but anyways we got titan king here in pyrus looking really really amazing definitely loving the look of it in pyrus that transparent plastic on his arms too so let's say 2300 2300 b power too i can imagine being what like 23 mm, five cost maybe five cost but yeah dude anyways there's titan king looking so so cool in pyrus definitely digging it for sure uh yeah then you gotta check out the back so we got the geogon ability cards gate card rule sheet all that good stuff and then we got the bakugan or geogon in this case for this wave so at the time of filming this i've got them all titan king is the last one that i needed uh yeah so you know mutasect amphrog ghost beast swarmer diamond stingser and arliss hyenix i have reviewed them uh, definitely go and check them out, like the individual unboxings and such. I go into details and in-depth with all of them. But yeah, man, so without further ado, let's get into opening Pyrus Titan King. Definitely glad to see Titan King getting some love and some different factions. It was one of the Geogon, I think, what? Yeah, they didn't really get another faction with it. I think even like, like filming this, there's not many... Geogon Rising products that I need and just also the back packaging like showing off the art and everything absolutely love it and I, I'm gonna miss it because evolutions it seems like they're getting rid of that but yeah dude because I love seeing the artwork on the back for sure it looks so so sick but um I don't think I'm missing like that many uh products really for Geogon Rising been trying to keep up um I think there's like a double pack what in the heck my man's stuck in the mold. All right. Well, can I can I get him out? Can I get him? Out? There we go. All right. But yeah, I think there's a couple of brawlers packs. Maybe the last wave of like the brawler packs, the Geogon brawler packs. I think there's a Ghost Beast Sky Horse one, and then also like a Saturn Swarmer one. Uh, I don't have either of those, and I'm on the lookout for those. But I think that might be it, maybe. But, yeah, man, I'm definitely on the lookout for those because, like, they're looking really sick. I think Sky Horse is Darkest, too. Like, come on, I need that thing, man. Darkest Sky Horse is looking really, really cool. And also Saturns and Arliss. Like, come on, man. Like, I wanted to see Saturn and Arliss big time. But, yeah. So, anyways, getting into uh, the gate card. We got Enoch here. So, 300, 300, 100, 100, 200, and 600. So, Darkest getting the biggest boost for sure. Uh, yeah, man. And I'm glad that they're bringing in new... Uh, gate cards with evolutions like new artwork and such because we didn't really see that many new evolutions well that that many new cards like gate cards for uh geogon rising so yeah i mean since they brought them back with armored alliance we saw a lot of new ones with that but then geogon rising a lot of them were just like retooled and such but yeah man anyways uh we got to get into it so pyrus titan king looking so sick check it out got the green in the eyes got the orange right there 
uh, for kind of like the shoulder plates and such. Orange for the head. You got the transparent red plastic for the arms. He's doing the robot. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah. And then you got the green for uh, the claws on the hands, you know, like the nails and such. Then you got the orange at the bottom of the legs, transparent plastic for the bottom of the legs too, that ruby red, that ruby drago red. <laughs> but yeah, got the green right there on the back. Looking really, really sick, dude. So of course, cube shaped when it's all closed up, but uh, 2300 B power, like I said, I can imagine it being like five cost, but yeah. Anyways, boom, head shoulders because i'll put those back head shoulders knees and toes and there we go man so pyrus titan king in the completely closed form looking so so sick that transparent red plastic right there got the green for the nails at the end got the orange right there got the red uh, also that transparent red for the back just so so awesome man looking really really cool so now getting into it we got to look at the cards oh yes dude it came with this bullion blast this is a very awesome card this is, this is one of the reasons why like we definitely got to see the cards because like gg the gg set just having this card in it alone this is a very powerful card like shield to destroy a secret to the geo gun the gg set even if they're stopping after their gg set like for real just got to see those cards go out man because it'll bounce out the game that much more for sure and spin master it'll prolong it maybe even longer than you think like for real like you get the cards out it'll make it an eternal i kid you not eternal game because it's just card games and such like that like for real you get the cards out it'll show for sure but b power look at that plus 2000 b's that's insane plus 2000 b's and 10 damage it's eight costs though uh so it's definitely difficult to get out but if you air zero it like yeah man it ain't playing no games you air zero this out that's scary like all that b power also that damage too or atoa putting in that work but also um I think what Harpyrian? No, it's Falcron. I was like, it's either Falcron or Harpyrian, but yeah, it's Falcron that's getting hit with that big time. Uh, yeah, but very powerful card. Titan King at six cost. Okay, uh, twenty three hundred and four. If it lands on a Flame Fist, it gets plus six damage. So you're talking about if it hits that, it's gonna be twenty twenty five fifty. It's getting up to twenty five fifty and three. Some ser no twenty five fifty and thirteen. There you go. Twenty five fifty. 13 some serious damage with it also pretty good b power with it and victor team attacks so say um you get the hit on your opponent and you have uh say a bakugan out before this and then you have titan king as the second one and that's a team attack right away with this effect uh but the bad part is you know you have to close them both up afterwards but you get like a quicker hit it's like an rko out of nowhere it's the whole theme for the geo gun so i can only use one per brawl one per battle in general you know and that's the rule you can only use one for brawl and one for battle so they can't be abused which definitely love that uh yeah we're getting that big time hit in there <laughs> yeah man especially a like team attack after like the second the second win that's big and 13 damage on top of the damage from the first box ground if you build something on top of that yeah it'd be a serious hit out of nowhere for that um, and plus Titan King, it's artwork looking so, so cool. Definitely hoping they drop the cards because I would love to use this and a bunch of other Geogon. The only bad part is I only have one copy of the card. And if there's only one copy of the card, I'm not going to want to use it. Because you got to have like at least, I'd say at least two. At least for me, I use two cards. Um, you know, two of the same card in a deck profile. Some people use like a full place out of three. Just my style, I use two usually. In rare cases, sometimes I'll put in three of the same card. But for the most part, it's two. And not being able to get a second copy of the Geogon cards. Literally, the card packs are our only hope for it. Or picking up multiple of the Geogon, which definitely you wanna really want to do that. But um, yeah, they do look really, really sick. But you know, uh, yeah, just for this, like the sake of the card, it's kind of meh. So definitely just hoping they get those card packs out for sure, man. But anyways, we got to see the opening action for Titan King here. Three, two, one. Boom. And there it is, man. Just going like full arms out and <laughs> doing like the, the freaking Minecraft dance or something. Uh, but yeah, Titan King looking really, really sick, dude. All that orange paint. Got the green as well. Transparent Ruby Drago kind of red plastic right there. Looking so cool. And ain't playing no games in a, in a Flame Fist deck. is definitely going to do some serious damage, no doubt about it. So I'd say it fits... Uh, for a Flame Fist deck, definitely the most. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this review on this absolutely epic Bakugan, Geogon, Rising, Pyrus, Titan, 
king. It's wild. At the point where, like, not that much is needed for Geogon Rising with the collection. Like I said, I think it's only those two uh, packs, like Ghost Beast, uh, yeah, the Ghost Beast Sky Horse pack, and then there's also the Saturn and uh, Swarmer pack, which I'm going to look out for both of those. If anybody manages to find them or such, I mean, definitely don't hesitate to reach out uh, for sure. Because definitely uh, looking for those two. But yeah, man, just honored to even be this far for sure. Um, you know, with the collection and such. Definitely looking forward to evolutions and just trying to get the remnants of Geogon rising. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So yeah, guys, until next time, it is your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Until then, stay awesome and Bakugan Brawl. I'm about to here.